combined solid means hemisphere and cylinder both shall be combined after combining both figure volume shall be find out volume shall be find out curved surface area should be find out total area shall be also find out to see here now this is our figure combined solid figure here this lever one given cylinder form and in cylinder this r is radius and this is dotted one is hemisphere both is combined to form a single figure similarly here also we can see that here r is radius of this cylinder and this dotted one is hemisphere both is combined to form single figure in this here l is given and in here this figure h is given here r is given in both of figure after giving all these thing we should find formula or to find formula of volume to find the volume of this figure to find the curved surface area of cylinder to find the total area surface of this figure this figure or this figure any one figure some of the formula shall be used to see here to find the volume of this figure combined solid here combined figure to find the volume of this figure see v equal pi r square in bracket 2 upon 3 r plus h this is also a small one known as parenthesis now in parenthesis we are given 2 upon 3 r plus h in this formula we are used sign pi pi is 22 upon 7 r is radius and h is height in this way using this formula we will easily find the volume of this combined figure solid figure similarly we see here curve surface area curve surface area is also denoted by s s equal 2 pi r plus r plus s 2 pi r into r plus s in fact here in this formula also we have used pi r and s unknown value so pi is also will denote pi also known as 22 upon 7 r is radius and s is height okay. to find total surface area of this figure here total to find total surface area total surface area is denoted by a a equal pi r in parenthesis 3 r plus 2 h this is our formula to find the total surface area of this combined figure combined solid figure in this formula used pi pi means 22 upon 7 r is radius as is height similarly we see more here also volume can be also we can also get volume we can find volume by using some different formula also see here to find volume next formula used is given here the formula is pi r square in parenthesis 2 upon 3 r plus l here pi is 22 upon 7 r is radius l is length applying this formula also we will find volume of this figure as as we know that s is curved surface area curved surface area is generated by s s equal 2 pi r r plus l here in this formula used pi pi means 22 upon 7 r is radius l is length area a is total surface area area means total surface area to so find the total surface area of figure if given l then see here a equal pi r 3 r plus 2 l in parenthesis pi means 22 upon 7 r is radius l means length now all this is formula 1 2 3 4 5 6 all this is formula to find the volume curve surface area total surface area of this combined solid figure if given as this formula shall be used this formula shall be used if provided l in our figure l and r is provided then we will use this lower formula and if in figure provided h then this formula shall be used using all this formula we will easily find the value of 
our solid figure it may be volume to, to find out volume to find out curved surface area to find out total surface area everything shall be easily calculated by using all this formula they are given us formula for combined solid c math solution if you like this knowledge this formula then please subscribe like and share and press bell icon so that immediate notification you will get of every latest video Here some more formula is given. See here this figure, this figure, figure is something changed here. R is given here both sides. This is S and this is L. In this also figure here R, R given and L is given. If L given, S given, formula shall be changed. In this type of formula, here two sides there is hemisphere of cylinder. In the cylinder, both sides is hemisphere joint. This is also half cylinder and both sides is hemisphere joint. In this type of figure, we will use formula to find volume, curved surface area, total surface area. It shall be something different. Let's see. Combine solid here. Volume V. Volume is denoted by V. V equal pi r square 4 upon 3 r plus h in parentheses. Or next formula also we can use V equal pi r square in parentheses 4 upon 3 r plus x here in this formula we have used pi pi means 22 upon 7 r r is radius h h is height and l is length see, similarly we will see our next formula curved surface area is denoted by s s equal 2 pi r in parentheses 2r plus h or s equal 2 pi r 2r plus h this is our formula same thing comes here in this formula so we have used pi r h all this have same meaning as here pi means 22 upon 7 r is radius h is height l length similarly we see here total surface area to find total surface area of this figure this combined figure see here a equal 2 pi r total surface area a means is denoted by a a equal 2 pi r in parenthesis 2 r plus h a equal 2 pi r 2 r plus uh, l here different here also in this formula used here pi is used r is used h is used l is used every have same meaning every formula used pi r l everything have same meaning so also we can say that different letters or alpha used in formula have their usual meaning as you now if you like this then please subscribe like and share or press this bell icon for notification of our latest video given something more in given figure this is our figure given half uh, this is cylinder and on cylinder top portion is hemisphere both is joint to form solid figure now in this figure provided us this is r and this one is h this is height we can also say that this is height and here this is radius r in given figure o in given figure is solid composed of cylinder with a hemisphere on the top if the radius of the base of cylinder is r unit and height of the cylinder is h unit then we have to find see here here radius of a base equal r unit and height of cylinder equal h unit now in total height equal h plus r unit here this r and h shall be added to find total height 
circumference of base base means this lower circle this lower circle is given us r now to find the circumference of this base we have formula 2 pi r unit area of base equal pi r square unit base is our this circle the circle area shall be to find this area of this circle our formula is pi r square unit curved surface area equal 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square square unit here both shall be used here 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square square unit now the total surface area equal 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square plus pi r square in these three things shall be added Now here, when adding all these three formula, our formula shall be something changed. See here, our formula will be 2 pi r h plus 3 pi r square in parentheses square unit. Volume formula, volume B equal 2 upon 3 pi r cube plus pi r square h cubic unit. In Volume shall always be written in cubic unit. Using all this formula, we will cal calculate certain thing using formula as provided us H, R, or something different, more and much. Now see here question number 258 upon A given. Given figure is solid composed of cylinder with a hemisphere on the top. If the volume of hemisphere is one third of the volume of cylinder and the volume of cylinder is 333 centimeter cube find the total volume of this solid now in this this is our figure here cylinder and hem hemisphere is both is joined now to now we will find the total volume of this figure see here to find the total volume we will use certain formula as discussed above in different way here volume of cylinder given us volume of cylinder given us 333 centimeter cube volume of hemisphere equal 1 upon 3 into volume of cylinder given in our question one third one third of volume of cylinder so volume of hemisphere equal 1 upon 3 into volume of cylinder equal 1 upon 3 into 333 centimeter cube equal 111 centimeter cube now total volume of solid now total volume of solid we know that to, to find the total volume we will add the volume of hemisphere and this cylinder both hemisphere and cylinder both shall be added see here total volume of solid equal volume of cylinder plus volume of hemisphere now 333 centimeter cube is volume of cylinder in question given and 111 centimeter cube is volume of hemisphere we got here 111 centimeter cube so both after adding both we will get 444 centimeter cube so of our required volume total volume of solid 444 centimeter Our next question here 258 upon B given figure is a solid composed of cylinder with a hemisphere on the bottom. If the volume of the hemisphere and cylinder are in the ratio of 3 is to 4 and the total volume of the solid is 777 cm cube, find the total volume of the cylinder. Now this is our figure in figure provided us something and using all these things we will find find the requirement of question.
Now, given us here, let V1 equal volume of cylinder. Now, this one is our cylinder, not color part is our cylinder. That let it be volume 1, be volume of cylinder. V2 equal volume of hemisphere. Now, this one is added part here. This is hemisphere. Now, let the V2 be the volume of hemisphere. From question, given of in our question that volume of cylinder and volume of hemisphere both are in ratio given here v2 upon v1 equal 3 upon 4 or also we can say that v2 equal 3 upon 4 into v1 volume 1 again v1 plus v2 equals 777 cm cube uh, this is also given in our question 777 cm cube or v1 plus now value of v2 this one shall be used in place of v2 here comes v1 plus 3 upon 4 v1 equals 777 or v1 plus v2 equals 777 centimeter cube or 7 v1 upon 4 equal 777 therefore v1 equals 777 into 4 this 4 is multiplied here and total is divided by 7 equal 444 centimeter cube the volume of cylinder is 444 centimeter cube in this way we got the requirement of our Here question number 258 upon B given us given figure is a solid composed of cylinder with a hemisphere on the bottom. If the volume of the hemisphere and cylinder are in the ratio of 3 to 4 and the total volume of the solid is 777 centimeter cube. Find the total volume of the cylinder. Here given cylinder figure is this, this is cylinder and this is hemisphere. Both is attached to form a new figure. Here, uh, Two solid figure is com combined, composed, two cylinder, two solid figure is combined to form single figure. Here upper one is cylinder and lower one is hemisphere. Both hemisphere and cylinder is joined to form single figure. So given in this single figure, some information provided us in our question, we will find out the total volume of cylinder. Now here. Let V1 equal volume of cylinder and V2 equal volume of hemisphere. In this figure, we will assume, we will assume certain things. Here, let V1, V1 be volume of cylinder, this V1 be volume of this lower cylinder and V2 be the volume of hemisphere. This hemisphere, this is hemisphere and V2 cylinder, cylinder means this, volume of this and volume of this, both. Now, from question given in our question in ratio the ratio is 3 is to 4 now given v2 upon v1 equal 3 upon 4 implies that v2 equal 3 upon 4 into v1 again v1 plus v2 equal 777 centimeter cube this also provided us in our question 777 centimeter cube or v1 plus 3 upon 4 v1 here from here it comes from here 3 upon 4 into v1 here v2 is equal to 3 upon 4 v1 same thing comes here in place of v2 comes here 3 upon 4 into v1 equals 777 or same same thing repeated here again v1 plus v2 equals 777 centimeter cube or 7 v1 upon 4 on adding this both we get here 7 V1 upon 4 equals 777 centimeter cube. Therefore, V1 equals 777 into 4 whole upon 7 equals 444 centimeter cube. Thus, the volume of cylinder is 444 centimeter cube. In this way, we find the required volume of our cylinder. In this way, using different formula and different process, we get uh, the volume of cylinder. And this is the requirement of our question. In this way we solve this question if you like this video please subscribe if you are new to this channel and also press this bell icon for notification of latest video thank you
times given us 259 upon a given given figure is a solid composed of cylinder with a hemisphere at the bottom if the curved surface of the hemisphere is one third of the curved surface area of cylinder find relation between r and s here given two figure one is hemisphere and other is cylinder both is attached to form a new figure in uh, in new figure given us some information in our question using all those information we will apply certain formula to find the requirement of our question let's see here csf hemisphere means curved surface area of hemisphere equal one third into csa of cylinder yes csa means curved surface area of cylinder this provided in our question our csf hemisphere we have formula 2 pi r square equal 1 upon 3 into 2 pi r h and this is formula of curved surface area of cylinder this is formula for finding curved surface area of hemisphere and this is formula for finding curved surface area of cylinder or r equal 1 upon 3 into h or r equal h upon 3 therefore our relation is h equal 3r is the required relation between height and radius of our new figure that is cylinder and hemisphere in next question here given 259 upon b given figure is a solid composed of cylinder with two hemisphere at the end if the diameter of the hemisphere is equal to the length of cylinder and their product is 196 centimeter square find the total length of the solid in this given something different see here here let this is our figure here both sides attached this is hemisphere this is hemisphere on this is central one is cylinder and hemisphere it attached to both side of cylinder so let's dv the diameter of hemisphere this is hemisphere this is hemisphere and diameter of hemisphere be d let let this we have to assume certain thing here and h be the length of hemisphere From question d equal h and d into h equal 196 centimeter or h square equal 196 therefore h equal 14 centimeter and d equal 14 centimeter given us our equation that h and given us d equal h so once getting the value of h our d will be also same thing at equal 14 centimeter and d also equal 14 centimeter as given us in our question d equal h r equal d upon 2 we know that radius equal diameter upon 2 r equal d upon 2 equal 14 upon 2 is equal to 7 centimeter total length of solid equal l total length of solid l equal r plus r plus h is equal to 7 plus 7 plus 14 this is radius this is radius and this is height total centimeter is equal to 28 centimeter in this way we get requirement of our second question also see here our next question here our next question given something 259 upon c our next question the area of the curved surface of a solid cylinder is equal to two third of total area of the same cylinder. If the total surface of it is 924 square centimeter, find the radius and height. We have to assume certain things here. Here, let R and H be radius and height of cylinder. We assume this. Then, total surface area is equal to 2 pi r r plus h this is our formula from formula we use this that we know that formula formula our formula is 2 pi r r plus s here in formula pi means 22 upon 7 2 is from formula r is radius and s is height or given our equation 924 here 924 given 924 equal 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r here. same is extended so here expanded and we have to assume this let it be equation first 
again curved surface area our next formula curved surface area is equal to 2 pi r h or 2 upon 3 into 924 is equal to 2 pi r h or 616 on solving this we get here 616 is equal to 2 pi r s let it be equation 2 taking the value of 2 pi r s in 1 here putting the value of this 2 pi r s in 1 2 pi r s here also 2 pi r s and here also 2 pi r s value is 616 of this 2 pi r s same thing we will place in our equation 1 this value will place it in equation 1 on putting the value of 2 pi r s in equation 1 we get putting the value of 2 pi r s in equation 1 we get 2 pi r square plus 616 value of 2 pi r s is equal to 924 or 2 pi r square is equal to 924 minus 616 now this is subtracted from this 924 or 2 pi r square is equal to 308 or r square is equal to 308 upon 2 pi or r square is equal to 308 into 7 whole upon 2 into 22 or r square is equal to 49 therefore r equal 7 centimeter on getting the value of r r means radius on getting the value of radius we will put get something new putting the value of r in equation 2 we have here 616 is value here 2 pi r s is equal to 616 here putting the value of r here we will get 616 is equal to 2 into 22 upon 7 into 7 into x or 616 is equal to 44 h therefore s equal to s is equal to 616 upon 44 is equal to 14 centimeter thus our thus here r is equal to 7 centimeter and height s is equal to 7 14 centimeter and this is our required solution in this way we got solution of this Question number 260 upon A given us the curved surface area of cylinder whose height is equal to radius of, of the base is 2464 square centimeter. Find the total surface area of the cylinder given here in this question. Here R with the radius and S the height of cylinder. Let we have to assume certain thing to solve this question. We have let means we assume certain thing that R be the radius of cylinder and S be the height of cylinder. Since height is equal to radius, that is R equal is equal to S. From formula or by formula, curved surface area of cylinder is equal to 2 pi R S and this is our formula. 2 pi R S is formula to find the curved surface area of cylinder. 2 pi R S or given our in equation, 2464 or 2464 centimeter square is equal to 2 pi r into r here r in place of s we place here r putting s equal r so we can easily place that r in place of s or 2464 centimeter square is equal to 2 pi r square therefore pi r square is equal to 2464 upon whole upon 2 centimeter square is equal to 232 centimeter square again by using our next formula by formula total surface area of cylinder is equal to 2 pi r r plus s is equal to 2 pi r r plus r is equal to 2 pi r plus into 2 r here r plus r is 2 r so again here multiplied 2 r is equal to 4 r 4 pi r square is equal to now value of pi r square is 2 by 32 centimeters square same thing we will place after 4 4 into 2 by 32 is equal to 49 28 centimeters square and this is our requirement of our question so total surface area of cylinder is 49 28 centimeters square and this is requirement of our question or we can also say that this is our required source
question number 260 upon B. Given figure is combined solid made of cylinder and hemisphere. If total height of the solid is 13 cm and diameter of the hemisphere is 14 cm, find the volume of solid. Here this is our hemisphere. Here combined solid, combined solid of hemisphere, lower one is hemisphere and this upper one is cylinder. Both is combined to form new figure or new solid figure. Given, given here question, here diameter is equal to 14 centimeter. Given us in our question, 14 centimeter, diameter is 14 centimeter. And so radius R is equal to D upon 2 equal 14 upon 2 is equal to 7 centimeter. Total height is equal to 13 centimeter. So height of cylinder as equal to 13 minus 7 is equal to 6 centimeter. Now total volume is equal to volume of volume G means volume of cylinder plus volume of hemisphere. Both volumes shall be added. From formula, we know that volume of cylinder to find the volume of cylinder, we have formula pi r squared h plus volume of hemisphere is 3, 2 upon 3 pi r cube is equal to pi r square h plus 2 upon 3 r is equal to pi r square h plus 2 upon 3 r is equal to 22 upon 7 into 7 square 6 plus 2 upon 3 into 7 is equal to 154 into 32 upon 3 is equal to 1642.67 centimeter cube. The total volume of solid is 1642.67 centimeter cube and this is our required solution. Here question number 260 upon C given us. Given solid object is made up of a cylinder and a hemisphere, whose radius of base is 7 cm and total height is 14 cm. Find the volume of the object. Here common radius R is equal to 7 cm and total length L is equal to 14 cm. In this figure length of this cylinder h is equal to l minus r here given us 14 centimeter is l and r is 7 centimeter so l minus r is equal to 14 minus 7 is equal to 7 centimeter from formula we know that total volume is equal to volume of cylinder plus volume of hemisphere we know the formula to find the volume of cylinder and volume of hemisphere this is pi r square h is volume formula to find the volume of cylinder and 2 upon 3 pi r cube is formula to find the volume of hemisphere is equal to pi r square in bracket h plus 2 upon 3 r is equal to 22 upon 7 into 7 square in parenthesis 7 plus 2 upon 3 into 7 is equal to 22 into 7 into 11 2 upon 3 is equal to 1796 of 2 upon 3 centimeter cube. Thus, the volume of given object is 1796 2 upon 3 centimeter cube. In this way, we can got value of our solution. We get value, and this is our required solution of our question. Question number 261 upon A. Given solid object is made up of hemisphere and a cylinder. Radius of hemisphere is equal to radius of cylinder. The height of solid object is 94 cm. Find the total surface area of that solid object. This is our solid object given us here 94 cm and here 18 cm. On getting two value, we will apply certain formula to get the requirement of our question. See here, height of cylinder is equal to 18 centimeter. 80 centimeter. This is 80 centimeter height. Height of solid object is 94 centimeter. It means total height is 94 centimeter. 
radius of hemisphere is equal to 94 centimeter minus 80 centimeter is equal to 14 centimeter it means this is as slant high, high total length and 80 centimeter is only height so high total height minus only height is radius of our hemisphere so 94 minus 80 centimeter is equal to 14 centimeter from 40 centimeter is our radius of our hemisphere our cylinder we know formula tsa of solid object it means total surface area of solid object is equal to 3 pi r square plus 2 pi r s here this is our formula formula to find total surface area now total surface area 3 pi r square plus 2 pi r s is equal to pi r 3 r plus 2 s is equal to 22 upon 7 this is value of our pi and our r r is here we got here value of r 14 centimeter into 14 now 3 into 14 plus 2 into 80 is equal to 44 into 202 is equal to 88 88 centimeter square thus total surface area of solid object is 800 88 88 centimeter square or also we can say 8888 centimeter square and this is the requirement of our question two sixty one upon B given solid object is made up of a hemisphere and a cylinder the radius of hemisphere is equal to radius of a cylinder the height of a cylinder is 80 centimeter and the volume of a hemisphere is 144 pi centimeter cube find the total surface area of that solid object this is our solid object height is 80 centimeter now given us something in our question to find the requirement of a question we have to use or assume certain thing here height of cylinder h is equal to 80 centimeter and b hemi means hemisphere volume of hemisphere given that 144 pi centimeter cube this is volume of hemisphere given all these things given in our question using these two things we will apply certain formula to find the requirement of our question volume hemisphere is equal to volume of hemisphere volume of hemisphere is equal to 144 pi centimeter cube or 2 upon 3 pi r cube is equal to 144 pi or r cube is equal to 144 into 3 whole upon 2 is equal to 216 or r cube is equal to 6 cube therefore r is equal to 6 centimeter again tsa so of solid object means total surface area of solid object is equal to 3 pi r square plus 2 pi r s is equal to 3 r plus 2 s whole into pi r is equal to 3 into s plus 2 into 80 whole into 22 upon 7 into 6 is equal to 22 upon 7 into 6 into 178 is equal to 3356.57 centimeter square or also we can say 3356.57 centimeter square and the total surface area is 3356.57 centimeter square and this is our requirement of question. Question number 262 upon A. 262 upon A given given figure is a solid composed of cylinder with hemisphere at one inch. If the curved surface area and curved surface area and height of the solid are 528 square centimeter, 14 centimeter respectively, find the height of cylinder now given us this is cylinder here given us 14 centimeter height also given something more see here 
CSM is cut surface area is equal to 528 centimeter square given us 528 centimeter square here cut surface area and h plus r it means total height total height or total length h plus r is equal to 14 centimeter where h is height of cylinder from formula or 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square is equal to 528 or 2 pi r r plus h is equal to 528 or 2 into 22 upon 7 into r into 14 is equal to 528 or 88 r is equal to 528 therefore r is equal to 6 centimeter now h plus r is equal to 14 centimeter given here in our beginning question or h plus 6 centimeter is equal to 14 centimeter therefore h is equal to 8 centimeter our next question 261 upon c a combined solid made up of cylinder of radius 3 centimeter and length h centimeter and a hemisphere with same radius as the cylinder has volume 792 centimeter cube find the value of h here our next cylinder given here this radius is 3 centimeter and h is a known factor we will find value of here h see here volume of solid is equal to 729 centimeter cube given us in our question 792 centimeter cube r is equal to 3 centimeter h is equal h is equal to h centimeter we know that volume of solid equal volume of hemisphere plus volume of cylinder is equal to 2 upon 3 pi r cube plus pi r square h this came from formula we know this formula to find the this is formula to find the volume of hemisphere and this is formula to find the volume of cylinder both is added here to find the total volume of whole solid or pi r square 2 upon 3 r plus h or 792 is equal to 22 upon 7 value of pi into 3 square in parenthesis 2 upon 3 into 3 plus h or 792 into 7 whole upon 22 into 9 is equal to r plus h or 22 is equal to 3 plus h 2 plus h therefore h is equal to 26 centimeter thus the value of h is 26 centimeter here question number 262 upon B given us question given figure is a solid composed of a cylinder with hemisphere at one end if the total surface area and height of solid are 770 square centimeter and 40 centimeter respectively find the height of cylinder this is our cylinder and this is hemisphere both is attached to form new solid object now height is here height is at r is radius and 14 is total height now we have to find the requirement of our question see here total height is equal to 14 centimeter is equal to h plus r here h plus r is equal to 14 centimeter r plus h is equal to 14 centimeter or h is equal to 14 minus r total surface area of solid is equal to 770 centimeter square we know that TSA of solid it means total surface area of solid is equal to CSA curved surface area of cylinder plus curved surface area of hemisphere plus area of base all three things shall be added our 770 is equal to 2 pi r s this is formula to find the curved surface area of cylinder and here next formula 2 pi r square is formula to find the curved surface area of hemisphere and 
pi r square is formula to find the area of base or 770 is equal to pi r in here back bracket 2s plus 2r plus r or 770 is equal to 22 upon 7 into r this is 22 upon 7 is value of pi into r in middle bracket 2 h plus r plus r in bracket or 770 into 7 whole upon 22 is equal to r 2 into 14 plus r whole multiplied with this r or 245 is equal to 28 r plus r square or r square plus 28 r minus 245 is equal to 0. Now on factorization r square plus 35 r minus 7 r minus 245 is equal to 0 or r taking common in this both r plus 35 minus 7 taking common in this both comes here minus 7 r plus 35 is equal to 0 or r plus 35 r minus 7 is equal to 0. So once taking value r minus 7 is equal to 0 comes here r is equal to 7 and next r plus 35 taking value here value of r will comes minus 35. So value of r is equal to minus 35. 30 minus sign is in front of 35 so this is neglecting. Neglecting negative sign our value of r is only 7 that is r is equal to 7 is possible. Thus the our r minus 7 is equal to therefore r is equal to 7 thus height of cylinder is equal to 14 minus r is equal to 14 minus 7 centimeter is equal to 7 centimeter and this is the requirement of our question. Now see here question number 258 upon a given given figure is solid composed of cylinder with a hemisphere on the top if the volume of hemisphere is one third of the volume of cylinder and the volume of cylinder is 333 centimeter cube find the total volume of the solid now in this this is our figure here cylinder and hem hemisphere is both is joined now to now we will find the total volume of this figure see here to find the total volume we will use certain formula as discussed above in different way here volume of cylinder given us volume of cylinder given us 333 cm cube volume of hemisphere equal 1 upon 3 into volume of cylinder given in our question one third one third of volume of cylinder so the volume of hemisphere equal 1 upon 3 into volume of cylinder equal 1 upon 3 into 333 centimeter cube equal 111 centimeter cube now total volume of solid now total volume of solid we know that to, to find the total volume we will add the volume of hemisphere and this cylinder both hemisphere and cylinder both shall be added see here total volume of solid equal volume of cylinder plus volume of hemisphere now 333 centimeter cube is volume of cylinder in question given and 111 centimeter cube is volume of hemisphere we got here 111 centimeter cube so both after adding both we will get 444 centimeter cube so of our required volume total volume of solid 444 centimeter Our next question here 258 upon B given figure is a solid composed of cylinder with a hemisphere on the bottom. If the volume of the hemisphere and cylinder are in the ratio of 3 is to 4 and the total volume of the solid is 777 centimeter cube find the total volume of the cylinder. 
now this is our figure in figure provided us something and using all these things we will find find the requirement of question now given us here let v1 equal volume of cylinder now this one is our cylinder not color part is our cylinder that let it be volume 1 be volume of cylinder v2 equal volume of hemisphere now this one is added part here this is hemisphere now let the v2 be the volume of hemisphere from question given up in our question that volume of cylinder and volume of hemisphere both are in ratio given here v2 upon v1 equal 3 upon 4 or also we can say that v2 equal 3 upon 4 into v1 volume 1 again v1 plus v2 equals 777 cm cube but this is also given in our question 777 cm cube or v1 plus now value of v2 this one shall be used in place of v2 here comes v1 plus 3 upon 4 v1 equals 777 or v1 plus v2 equals 777 cm cube or 7 v1 upon 4 equal 777 therefore v1 equals 777 into 4 this 4 is multiplied here and total is divided by 7 equal 444 cm cube the volume of cylinder is 444 cm cube in this way we got the requirement of our Here, question number 258 upon B given us given figure is a solid composed of cylinder with a hemisphere on the bottom. If the volume of the hemisphere and cylinder are in the ratio of 3 to 4 and the total volume of the solid is 777 cm cube, find the total volume of the cylinder. Here given cylinder figure is this, this is cylinder and this is hemisphere. Both is attached to form a new figure. Here, uh, Two solid figure is com combined composed two cylinder two solid figure is combined to form single figure here upper one is cylinder and lower one is hemisphere both hemisphere and cylinder is joined to form single figure so given in this single figure some information provided us in our question we will find out the total volume of cylinder now here let V1 equal volume of cylinder and V2 equal volume of hemisphere. In this figure, we will assume, we will assume certain things. Here, let V1, V1 be volume of cylinder, this V1 be volume of this lower cylinder and V2 be the volume of hemisphere. This hemisphere, this is hemisphere and V2 cylinder, cylinder means this, volume of this and volume of this, both. Now, from question given in our question in ratio the ratio is 3 is to 4 now given v2 upon v1 equal 3 upon 4 implies that v2 equal 3 upon 4 into v1 again v1 plus v2 equal 777 cm cube this also provided us in our question 777 cm cube or v1 plus 3 upon 4 v1 here from here it comes from here 3 upon 4 into v1 here v2 is equal to 3 upon 4 v1 same thing comes here in place of v2 comes here 3 upon 4 into v1 equals 777 or same same thing repeated here again v1 plus v2 equals 777 cm cube or 7 v1 upon 4 on adding this both we get here 7 v1 upon 4 equals 777 cm cube. Therefore, v1 equals 777 into 4 whole upon 7 equals 444 cm cube. Thus, the volume of cylinder is 444 cm cube. In this way, we find the required volume of our cylinder. In this way, using different formula and different process, we get uh, the volume of cylinder. And this is the requirement of our question. In this way, we solve this question. If you like this video, please subscribe.
if you are new to this channel and also press this bell icon for notification of latest video. Thanks.